Have you ever been absolutely certain about remembering something, only to discover that reality tells a completely different story? If you're nodding your head right now, you're not alone. And you're not losing your mind either. Welcome to the fascinating world of the Mandela Effect. The term Mandela Effect has an interesting origin story. Back in 2010, a woman named Fiona Broom made a surprising discovery at a convention. She, along with numerous other people, vividly remembered Nelson Mandela dying in prison during the 1980s. The only problem? Mandela was very much alive at the time, having been released from prison in 1990 and didn't actually pass away until 2013. What makes this phenomenon so intriguing isn't just that people make mistakes, we all do that, it's that large groups of people share the exact same false memories. Think about that for a second. How do thousands of strangers end up misremembering things in exactly the same way? C-3PO from Star Wars. Many remember him being completely gold, but he actually has a silver leg. Snow White. The famous line isn't mirror, mirror on the wall, but magic, mirror on the wall. Kit Kat. No, there's never been a hyphen between Kit and Cat. Now you might be wondering, what's really going on here? Some people, including Broom herself, have proposed some pretty wild theories. Parallel universes, glitches in the matrix, reality shifting. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. But psychologists and researchers have a different take on this. They suggest that these shared false memories might actually tell us something fascinating about how our brains work. It's not about parallel universes, it's about how we process, store and recall information. Our memories aren't like perfect recordings of the past, they're more like reconstructions pieced together from various bits of information, expectations and assumptions. Think of it like a game of telephone where the message can get slightly altered each time we recall it. But here's where things get really interesting. If our memories are reconstructions, what happens when we add modern technology and social media to the mix? How do shared misconceptions spread in our interconnected world? And most importantly, what other memories might we all share that don't match reality? Let's start with a fascinating experiment from the 1990s called The Lost. In the mall study, researcher Jim Cohn gave family members stories about their childhood. But here's the twist. One story about getting lost in a shopping mall was completely made up. The shocking result? Not only did many people believe this false memory, they even started adding their own details to it. This brings us to something scientists call schema-driven memory errors. Don't let the fancy terms scare you, it's actually pretty simple. Our brains store information in organized patterns, kind of like filing cabinets. When we try to remember something, we don't just pull out the exact file, we actually reconstruct the memory using these patterns. But here's where things get really modern and interesting. We're living in an age where uh, misinformation can spread faster than ever before. One wrong tweet, one edited image, one misquoted movie line, and suddenly thousands of people are sharing and reinforcing the same incorrect memory. It's like we're all playing a massive game of telephone, but instead of whispering from person to person, we're sharing, retweeting, and posting about our memories. And each time we do, that false memory gets a little stronger in our collective consciousness. Scientists have actually developed some pretty clever experiments to understand how false memories work. One of the most interesting is called the DRM paradigm. Don't worry about the name. Let me tell you how it works. Imagine you're shown a list of words. Bed, pillow, sheet, rest, tired. Later, when asked about the words you saw, many people would swear they saw the word sleep even though it was never on the list. Our brains are naturally wired to make these connections. But here's where it gets even more interesting. A researcher named Frederick Bartlett conducted a fascinating experiment back in 1932. He read participants a Canadian Indian folklore tale called War of the Ghosts and asked them to recall it later. 
What happened next was remarkable. People didn't just forget parts of the story, they actually transformed it. They changed unfamiliar details into things that made more sense to them. It's like our brains are constantly trying to make the world fit into our existing understanding. And in today's world, these memory quirks have a new partner in crime, the internet. When someone posts an incorrect memory online, it doesn't just stay as one person's mistake. It can spread, be reinforced, and eventually become part of our collective consciousness. Take, for example, the case of Princess Diana's tragic car crash in 1997. Many people claim to have seen actual footage of the crash, but here's the thing, that footage doesn't exist. What they're probably remembering are simulations or recreations they've seen in news reports. And when thousands or millions of people are doing this same mental adjustment, sharing these altered memories online, reinforcing each other's recollections, well, that's how we end up with the Mandela effect. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. We've seen how groups of people can share the exact same false memories. We've learned about schema-driven errors and how our brains try to make sense of the world. But there's something even more profound here. Think about it. Every time we remember something incorrectly together, we're actually demonstrating how similar we are. Whether you're from New York or New Delhi, you might share the same false memory about the Monopoly man's monocle or Pikachu's tail. And yes, while the internet might amplify these shared misconceptions, it also gives us a chance to discover these connections, to realize we're not alone in our memories, even when they're wrong. Some might see the Mandela effect as a glitch in the Matrix, a sign that something's wrong with our reality. But maybe it's actually showing us something beautiful about being human. So the next time you discover one of your memories doesn't quite match reality, remember. You're not losing your mind. You're just experiencing one of the many ways our minds work to create a shared understanding of the world. After all, in a world where we seem increasingly divided about what's true and what isn't, maybe there's something comforting about knowing that even our mistakes can bring us together. And who knows, maybe somewhere out there, in another universe, the Monopoly man really does wear a monocle.